Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero on the PlayStation 5. So, I built another locker, guys, to just contain our titanium. We need to get those small lockers that you can label and stuff. But for right now, we're using this one because we got a lot of titanium. And we'll probably get even more. So that kind of frees up a little bit of space in this one, which I'm keeping our like uh, raw resources in this one, and then our finished products and other junk in this one for now. Food and all that question good stuff. Mark. The question mark? Like there's a little question mark icon. Oh, that's the uh, one of the oh, posters. Right. Yeah. They don't have a picture. Yeah, they don't have a picture for it for whatever reason. Since I think don't they have like generic? Yeah, I think they just have generic pictures here for the posters and the. And the frame pictures. So yeah, I don't really know reason why they couldn't have had one here. I'm not entirely sure why that one's Is just there a question an mark. Escape patch in the roof. Mm, no. Uh -huh. But you put ladders up there. Remember all these locations here? Is where a ladder yeah. can go, so we can go up. But we don't have another level right I now. I thought you could pop out the top. That's another way to to keep your base more like you know tighter together. Uh, is to have the it on top of each other and have like ladders because the ladders don't really take up that much space and uh is, if it's like the first game there's not even an animation for walking up and down the ladder either you just click on it and it takes you to the next room uh immediately so it's a nice way to kind of keep everything compact in your base uh also we were talking about like how much energy we're using we can check all that here guys if you look at the scanner room it's it's costing us negative 0.15 just for being there now we can always turn it off I don't know what happens if you turn it off. Is that just turning the lights off? Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So that's one way to save save power, I suppose. And do slideshow presentations. True. Yep. And we were, we were wondering if you could turn the lights off. I'm guessing that turns off the lights everywhere. It didn't turn off the lights there, though. No, it didn't. Maybe because that one's... Maybe oh. you have angered it. Yeah, it sound concerned with that. Is that just any time? Okay, that's just if you time turn it uh. off. Okay, I wonder if we like... Okay, it does turn the lights off, but only like in the middle. Okay, interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, turn all that back on. And uh, return to what I was saying, is that you can see we're using, you know, how much power we're using for each room. So I was using negative point zero zero point fifteen. And then I want to say this one was also using a little bit of power at some point. It must have been charging a battery or something. And so that's our, our power use. And so we can always see that here. This uh, control room is pretty cool. Really helpful. Uh, but yeah, we already have everything we need. Though we could use a bit more water. So maybe we'll hop out and grab one of those fishies. Come here, paper. Well, we don't want a peeper. We want the one that gives us water. Bag fish. Bladder fish. Or bag mm -hmm. fish, as Jinx calls them. A bag full of water and air <laughs> welcome aboard captain Poor little fish he has no idea what's going on <laughs> he's so You're scared about to be smelted. all right so we got our water i know we had some water on us but we're going on a journey so i didn't want to drink all our water guys all right so let's go ahead and get back out there we have to go get our our vehicle by the way because we left it down oh, down here didn't luckily it's not that far away so yeah, we'll go grab it real quick the sea truck and we're going to go to that other location, guys, which, if you recall, we've already been there once. And we couldn't do it because, well, first of all, you know, we're much lower level, so to speak, when it comes to, like, equipment. And so, like, we couldn't hold our breath for as long. We didn't have this rebreather. But also, I didn't know that the game so much wanted you to use the oxygen thingies. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the things that give you oxygen, whatever those things are called. Little bubble thingies. Bladder plants. Sure, bladder pan <laughs> plants, bag, plant. <laughs> bag plants. So yeah, I think that they want you to use those more than I was expecting. And so if we had used that, then we might have been able to do this. Though I don't know. Again, we had some pretty shoddy equipment. So uh, now we have the rebreather there. We can breathe a lot longer as well because the higher, higher uh, oxygen tank, higher capacity oxygen tank that we have. So yeah, I think uh, we should be able to do this. Hopefully. It's a long way. Now, one thing that, that surprised me... Oh, this is that little island here. Is the fact that we had to... Did we scan that guy yet? The crabby-looking no, dude? He's like a lobster. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's more a lobster. I don't know why I called him crabby. He doesn't look anything like a crab. 
Yeah, he's more like a lobster or a shrimp or I don't something. I know, though. I thought maybe you ate one. You think I ate it? I'm pretty sure I didn't eat no, it. No, you're talking about getting lobster in real life the other day. I'd like to. It's a rock puncher. You I'd like to get lobster. Shit out you. We didn't have the money, though, guys. And you know what? I'm seeing something, a goodie over there. What kind of goodie? I guess we can read about the rock puncher. He feeds on tiny larvae. So, or larva. Okay, so it says avoid or redirect food. So he might attack us. But I don't think we're the, the type of food he's looking for. Oh, you remember these things, Jinx? Not really. And the first one, I think that might do damage to us. I don't know, though. Yeah, it looks like the, the blue ones mm -hmm. are really hot. So that's what I was excited about, guys. We just found some lithium. Uh, try and get whatever that was. I don't know if we Go. got it. Yeah, you see it down there? I wonder if that would cause us issues. Let's go down and experiment. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't think we're close enough. I think as long as we stay far enough away, I don't think it causes us any issues. Got some more silver it's there. still pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Freaking fireballs. Yeah, so it's areas like this, you can see we will find some rare resources, like the gold and such. But that's not what we're looking for. I like yeah. those walls. Yeah, the green walls. They're nice. And these little things sticking out here. Can't harvest those. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could smack them. I don't think no, so. Though. You can just can swim right through them. Swim right through them. I don't know. We'd harvest from it. Look at this. Oh, okay. That's just those. Oh. I thought that was a, a nest of eggs. I got excited. Well, we'll just take this home uh -huh. Yeah, it was. That's exactly what I was going to do. So now I'm just looking around for lithium, guys. That's what we need. We need lithium bad. You need to eat the lobster guy. Why do you want me to eat the lobster, Jinx? That uh, lobster's good. good and all, but I mean, like, he's first of all, he's a rock puncher, not a lobster. He punches rocks. Do you really want to mess with somebody who punches rocks? Yes. That's like their name? That's what they're known for? I don't think we should mess with them. <laughs> Though I will admit, I, I could eat some lobster right now. And Jinx said I was talking about eating it, and I was like, <laughs> I wanted it so bad, man. It's just too expensive. You just can't justify buying that. Yeah. I haven't had lobster in like forever though. It's been a long time. It was like a Father's Day like several years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. I had some lobster. But yeah, I just can't justify it when you're when you're poor folks be getting lobster. But I just had a craving for it. Sometimes you know you just get those cravings. Yeah. It's Jinx is typically Jinx is yeah candy or well you get the the cravings for the crab the crab dip that you be eating. True. Jinx likes crab dip and and crackers. Love me some crab dip and crackers. Mm -hmm. It's imitation crab though. That's what you usually get. Yeah, it's not and it's not really expensive it's like either. Soy. It's not really the same thing as what I'm talking about. I'm t I was talking about some real actual lobster. I don't know that I've ever had lobster. It's good. I like it. I think I like crab better though, honestly. Well, I don't it seems like, like he's coming better. after us. Yeah, I like crab better. You know, I feel like we should have brought our repair thing if we don't have oh, it with us. Yeah. We could have repaired this. We actually do have the oh, repair nice. tool. So let's just hop out real quick and, and do some repairs. I know it's not very damaged, guys, but we don't know what we're running into either. I don't know if your little kitty cat fish is coming after us. Yeah, he is. He's going purr on you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn oh, it. shit. He's mauling me. Um, <laughs> I got stuck on a rock. You. Yeah. I just came out to repair my ship. Clever kitty fish. Mm-hmm. Do we, we bring any health? We didn't. Rats. I think we're healing a little bit, though, right now. Because our food and water's pretty good. Yeah, that guy mauled us, man. Is this the first time we've re re used the repair thing? I think so. Yeah. I we haven't really it. done much exploring in the sea truck. Oh, yeah, this is. We got the sea truck, and, and the problem with the sea truck is that it just doesn't go very far. Uh, very far underwater, I mean, very deep, I should say. Again, keep our eyes out for rare resources because we haven't been in this area. And angry monsters because what the fuck is oh, that? Oh, or. Fucking purple fire. <laughs> Jesus. The hottest fire in the land. Mm-hmm. You mm mm. Yeah, this is There's bad guys. And what Jinx is referring to. Somewhere the color of fire around. tells you how hot it is, guys. I love purple though. It's my favorite. That's but what? you'll burn your biscuits. Mm-hmm. Alright, 
so let's let's start moving towards it but again we gotta avoid going below the 150 so we're gonna get right above it and what is that oh that's a well friendly well oh what's he doing down here in these parts he's just looking for food jinx that's all okay we never did name her She'd be Bessie. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the same one, guys, but we're going to pretend it is. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of quartz we could grab. We do need more quartz. What is that? Is that an egg? Yeah, that's an egg. That's a weird looking one. Yeah, it's got little pinchers or something. Blue egg. You see it's got little pinchers on it? Can you raise those in the aquarium? You know, I don't know. I wonder if you can put eggs in an aquarium. I suppose we can test it. But what is that an egg to? Do we even know? Is it going to eat our pet peeper? No, we're going to raise it as our own, and it's going to follow our commands. All right, well, I'm picking it up, Jinx. We'll see if that's <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. Oh, from the top, the sea truck looks like a happy, weird, toothless fish. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, this looks carnivorous, right? Yeah, like a Venus flytrap. Uh-huh. If I get out and go towards it, will it open up for me? It doesn't have, like, a, something that will make me want to go inside, like a pearl? I get close when you clap on me, you know? I don't think this opens. Well, I was misleaded, then. misled. It's a lily pad, a rising little uh, lily pad. I was misled by the look of it. All right, so that just becomes a lily pad. It probably does eventually get up there. This is kind of a cool area. Safely explore from our sea truck. Where is our location we're heading towards? Return. We're getting, yeah, we're getting off track, guys. I'm, I'm over here. I'm getting all excited with our exploration. <laughs> all right, whoa. Whoa, cowgirl. Really deep. We've been here before. I think we can do this, Jinx. All right, so we're just gonna hop out, get our uh, little thing out immediately, and, and start the a swimming. To hitch a ride. I think we talked about that when we were here before. We were trying to figure out if we could, if he'd give us a ride. Yeah. I keep seeing like those little candle-looking things and thinking that they're this? like a shrine. Oh, hold up! This is something important. An exosuit thermal reactor module fragment. Yeah, that seems important. As do blooming raindrops. Those are pretty. All right. So we're looking for something here. We we just don't know what. And we need some of those oxygen thingies if we're going to stay down here. There's one right there. So I might want to know where all those are, but I wish I knew where the fuck I was supposed to be here. You can never go back. Hey, I was saying about the, uh, you know, we were supposed to follow the little green lights. I don't recall the game ever telling us that. And luckily, if it wasn't for you guys in the comments letting me know that that was the case, I don't think we ever would have <laughs> figured it out. Ooh, that's pretty. That's the lily pad root. Yeah, they were thick roots. So we'll have to get back in the sea truck, obviously, to get some air, guys. But while we're down here, we'll see what we can find. And this is it. This is the exo exosuit thermal reactor module that we need. So we only needed one more. And now we can make the prawn suit thermal reactor. All right, well, that's interesting. It's for the prawn suit. I should have figured that out from the, the name. From the thingy. Yeah, it's called exosuit. It kind of reminds me of Fallout. With the batteries and your exosuit. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm wondering if it lets you, like, charge, you know, using thermal power. If it'll allow you to, like, sit next to a thermal source and then power up your One. prawn suit. 30 seconds of oxygen Maybe. remaining. I would assume that's what that means. All right, so you gotta get back on the sea truck. Get some air, guys. It's really nice having this here. It's like, think about how much time we're saving. How much air we're saving by not having to go way up. And then come back down again. Again, though, I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go. We know it's in here somewhere. But where? Like, what is it that we're looking for? We just know her last location. And I guess it makes sense that that's where we found the thermal thing because, you know, she's in an exosuit. I need to turn off the sanctuary because that's confusing me. <laughs> hmm. Let's scan these things. I don't want to scan anything else, guys. We want to. We need to go. We need to find whatever it is we're supposed to fucking find in here. Oh, there's a lot to explore. There's yeah. something down that way. There's We know there's an oxygen thing over here. I'm a little bit worried about I'm getting ourselves lost. lost. Yeah, that's a real possibility. We don't really need to scan that again now. 
Wasn't there an oxygen thing over here? Did I imagine to that? the left. Oh, yep, there it is. All right, so let's go to grab that. Did not fill us up. Uh, and then we're going to dip down here because I thought I saw something. Like, right... I mean, there's a light. I'm just following the lights at this point. Okay, so that's just one of her lights. Oh, are so these are... The here's a silver ore that we can uh, mine with the prawn suit. We have the prawn suit and the drill. Whoa! Did he take anything from me? It seemed like he had something in his hand. So. Was he trying to give me something? It felt like he had I something in his hand, like I could press X on him. I think he just wanted us to tickle his belly. Maybe. Like X to tickle belly. Possibility. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Maybe we're just supposed to follow the lights. Her lights. Follow the um, stay away. That's a monster. What? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida's the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. <laughs> A squid shark, huh? We're trying to scan this guy. I'm gonna scan him. Get back here. This You're gonna be like scanned. He lost interest in you. Yeah. He said, this, this guy's too hard to catch, this he, gal. It's like, ugh, your water tastes gross. Uh, so we went and got ourselves all messed up now. So we're going the right way, though, following Where's the lights. the oxygen? Oh, Lord, we're in trouble. Oh, okay, this might take us straight up if we have to do that. All right, so there might be more efficient ways of doing this. Let's park this right above that hole right there. I think that's the way we should do this. Yeah, it seems like we're going the right way. Warning. I know. 30 I know. seconds of oxygen. Yeah, she's telling us to scram. Mm hmm. Alright, so. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I got it. We're good. Where's that hole now, right there? Oh. I guess we're not good. Letting ourselves get to. Okay, so yeah, she's all down here somewhere. So we could kind of like park it right above, and then we should be able to like just go straight up. That's what I'm thinking. I wasn't expecting her to be home. Well, it says her last known location, so... I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's there, but... Yeah. Okay, true. so that is not the way we wanted to park that. We need to go down this way. Alright, so we used that one oxygen thing, so we don't have that. So let's just try and race down here again. Oh, we got one right here. But still, I'm not entirely sure. Are we, going, are we just keep on going down? Guess that's what yeah, we're gonna do. They're providing you with the tools. There's that squid, squid shark oh, thing. We're getting really deep. Mm-hmm. But we can keep going down. We don't have any uh, because we have the rebreather. We don't have any problems with with depth. Mm. Squid oh, shark. Come on, get out of there. He's like blasting ink in your face. I think this is where we're going here. The base. We reached it. I don't know if this thing is chasing me right now. I hope she has a spot of tea. Oh. Is I hope we can room? go inside. Oh. Large room glass dome fragment. What? So you can have like... That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. Oh, the moon pool. We need this. What is that for? You don't remember the moon pool? Where we uh, drove up into it? Was it always called A the customized moon pool? Yeah, it was always called the moon pool. Oh. Customized prawn suit. Oh. Yeah, this is so suit? cool. Well, I don't know. We can get that. I think that was just scanning it to get information or whatever. Yeah, I, I thought that this mission would result in us getting a bunch of schematics and stuff. I'm wondering if we can get... Oh, she has one of the Leviathan thingies in there. Dinosaurs. What were they called? Like, I think it started with the R. Reaper? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Like Reaper Leviathan. I don't know. Could be making that up. It sounds right though. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make it right though. Look at this. She found a beautiful location for her base. She did a good job at base selection here. Yeah, I like this place. I'm gonna move in next year. You think she'd mind? Mm, maybe not. I just I figured she'd have this kind of stuff all around here, guys, like databases and stuff. A still suit. What is that? Oh, I don't know. And what is this? This is obviously something we don't have yet. A spy pingling fragment. Oh, oh okay. That's what we need. Yeah, somebody told me about that. That that is it allows you to go into the small places. 
So we yeah, actually and you can hang out with pinglings. Yeah. Also, you might be able to hide, hide, like hang out with them, hide amongst them. They might not realize who you are. We need to figure out how to get in here. Yeah, where's the fucking door? We can always go through the through the the moon bay. True. I guess that's the way yeah. we'll have to go. There's another auction thing there. If we wanted to continue to explore around the outside, because again, there there is the chance that we'll find more data things. I really want to know what that still suit thing is. Yeah, it's cool. Jinx says it looks cool. It looks nice. Something very spacey and futuristic. Mm-hmm. With a little Iron Man thing in the middle. <laughs> Let's go ahead and climb up the ladder. We'll find out if she's gonna get angry at us. Oh, it's nasty in here. She needs to yeah. wash this place. Why is it? She must have been in here for a while. That egg is massive. Yeah, I can tell you right now, it, it's going to take up the majority of the, the pool, whatever I it is. I think it's a scooty shark. You think so? <laughs> we found it nowhere near that guy. Oh, it's got little flappies. <laughs> flappies. <laughs> uh, we found the vehicle upgrade console, large room glass dome, moon pool, all that good stuff. Now we're just looking for that suit. There's the spy pingling, and there's the remote to control it. Yeah, we could build that now. I mean, not, not right this moment, obviously, but yeah, we have all the stuff we need. The still suit reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean, drinkable water. Ew. <laughs> That's nasty. You're drinking your own moisture. It requires synthetic fibers, aerogel, and copper wire, so we are missing stuff in order to build that one, guys, unfortunately. What all kinds of moisture? <laughs> All the moisture. Ew. Sweat, saliva, uh, genital. Coochie juice. Yeah, juices. That's nasty. Mm hmm. All the moisture, Jinx. Sweaty butt. That, that's covered in the sweat part. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go inside here. And again, I do expect. Oh, yep. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. It's so fluffy. I'm thinking he's blocking us from going yeah. after or whatever, but yeah, we gotta go scan I him, need Jinx. It. You see what he's called. I want one. I'm just scanning you. He's a snow stalker. Yeah, he is pretty cool. Can Calm down. He doesn't like us, Jinx. We need to. I'm gonna touch his tail. We need to tame our own. Look at his tail. He's got like a little blue thing on there. It looks like a piece of candy or something. That's how he lures his prey. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how he get Jinx. I guess he could get her in many ways. True. Just looking snugly, I guess, would be enough for Jinx. I was hoping to find a lot of stuff to scan here. Uh, we did find a PDA. Probably won't listen. Swimming back for land wasn't an option. Oh, Lord. I'd die from it. Let's turn that off. And I'll just kind of scroll through here so you guys can read these. I don't know why. Oh, and they are called Reapers. So we were right. I'm keep you warm. So he's, she's talking about her, her butchering of the, the Reaper. But yeah, we, we saw her in the... She's in the first game. Test override module fragment. I guess we'll scan that. She's in the first game. You listen to her, her, her talk a lot. And then also... A snow Fox. What? Oh, that's the thing you drive around the land with. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like a snowmobile? Yeah, kind of. Except for cooler. More like the... um. The speeders from Star Wars. Oh, those speeder yeah. bikes. Kind of reminds me of that based on the video I saw. But yeah, you uh, you learn a lot about her. And I'm, I saved a screenshot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking I can squat in this game. I can't. 
Yeah, you learn a lot about her from both the, the the PDAs that you find that she did, and then the ones that her her uh, crew members did on her. And, and you hear those in the first in the first game. How come she can hang these up? I want to hang mine up. She's in a nice place here, guys. Yeah, Not a lot does. to scan though. It's messy, but I mean, she didn't plan on having company. Yeah, I mean, I respect her use of the bones. Look at that. She made herself like a, a little <laughs> hammock. With the bones there, that's cool. That might be skin or something. That looks like a piece of a belly. Some uh, parts of the stomach or whatever she's hanging on. Well, this I might be skin what here. what her stalker's name is. Like, can't she has a stalker? Oh, you're talking about the snow stalker? Yeah, the snow stalker. I'm sure it does have a name. She's just not going to tell us. All right, so I guess that's it. There's nothing else to scan here. I was, I was like, you know, combing this place just to make sure that we didn't miss anything. I probably did miss anything anyways. Somebody's going to be like, yep, you combed it and you missed five things. I guess that's it. So she gave us a quest. She wants us to get rid of the, uh, I, I knew we were going to have to interact with that again. Can we take your suit? The radio <laughs> tower? Probably not. No. <laughs> that's not a good it way. Worth a shot. It's not a good way to make friends. It's old though. She'd been down here a long time. I wonder how long she'd been here. Uh, years, clearly. Forever. Mm hmm. So now the question is how the fuck do we get out of here? That's like the hardest part is trying to figure out <laughs> how to leave now. You can never go back. And also just seeing if there's anything that we might want to, uh, to grab around here. Like we already went on that one, but there might be other locations as well. Oh, snap. Rubies, guys. Rubies. Look at all these oh, freaking wow, rubies. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I'll scan it if you really I guess want me you're to. Have to drop the egg. I think we will have to drop the egg. There's gonna be too many. I figured there's gonna be a lot of good stuff. And yeah, just too much good stuff for us to be carrying around something like that, that big. And we can wait to drop it until we absolutely have to. But yeah. Yeah, I just don't think we'll be able to continue carrying it. And diamonds too. Are you what? serious? This place has everything we need. I mean, I guess. That's why she's here. Land. Yeah. I wonder how she feels about me stealing all her rubies and diamonds. Actually, they'll grow back. Will they? I don't think they do, Jinx. I could be wrong, but I don't know that they grow back. So yeah, we're just going to go and get everything we can, because yeah, we're getting lithium. Fuck the gold. Yeah. Get all these rubies. Um, still looking for some... Oh. You're... Yeah. Look at this. You're a knight as like well. Everything you could possibly need. Yeah, I mean, she found an excellent location. Again, it's not everything that we need. There's a few things that we still don't have yet. What's this? A thermal plant fragment? We're going to die down here because I'm so yeah. excited about all the stuff I can get. We need oxygen. I know. And I don't even think there's any in here, is there? Any of those oxygen things? Yeah, I didn't see any. Nope. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. <laughs> We're so slow. We can breathe that in the little air Oh, bag. Lord. Yeah, we might have to. Because we are much further away than I thought we were. Oh, we're not using this. No wonder we're going so damn slow. Uh, <laughs> I thought it oxygen. seemed slow. Come on, you can make it, woman. Use your bag to N breathe. We need to go. If we uh, use the bag, we're... And we did it. Whew. See? The reason why we, it took us so long is because this didn't have any power. I thought we were moving just super slow. I was like, what the hell? Why is this thing going so damn slow? Intake. Oh, really? <laughs> just one damn Vital problem after the next, guys. So maybe we won't be able to stay down here and get all this shit that I want to get. I feel like we, at the very least, have to fill up the damn inventory and then scan all this stuff. Like, you gotta do it that. What is that? Is that something to scan? It looked like something to play with. Like a bowling pin or something. Mm-hmm. What all do we have in our inventory? What do we need most? I guess lithium's used for a lot of things. I suppose the the rubies are as well. What's this? Oh, that's something different. We could probably just drop that gold, guys. We do need to get these uh, the thermal plant fragments. I like the thermal plants, though. We wouldn't be able to use that in our current base, I don't think. Unless some of those... Yeah, I don't know if those one uh, thingies that we saw, those little stalk-looking things, that they produce heat. Uh, maybe. I, I would assume they are, but they're kind of far away. Rising temperatures detected in mineral-rich fissure below. 
I can't see shit. Yeah, I can't either. All right, well, we need diamonds. That's what I really want, if we can find some more diamonds, because we haven't really got very many of those yet. Or just one, I think. Oh, we can go all the way down here. There's a diamond. Hello, beautiful. Now, we haven't found any magnetite yet. Oh, there's a lot of diamonds down here. Oh, I got my All right, so we need to get back up there. I wish we had marked her place. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna get lost and die. We need a beacon. Mm-hmm. Warning. I know, I know. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> I guess We're I could have went that as way. Fast as we, can. we actually have power this time. So we'll dip back in and then we're going to do a little bit of inventory management here, guys. And see if, uh... Oxygen. I know, I got it. And see if there's anything we can get rid of besides that gold. Come on. Yeah, I, I wanted to... Yeah, <laughs> I want to get in here. Really? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's going slippery. on there. <laughs> Alright, so let's go in here and get rid of, like, anything that we absolutely don't need. Now... I mean, we don't really have any use for these, I don't think, just yet, because we don't have the reactor for it. So I don't think we'll get any more than these. Just in case there is something that needs it that I don't know about, we'll bring that. But there, a lot of the shit, we can leave for her. I feel like we're being nice. Can I not? I can't drop it in here, though. Oh, uh, well, don't be litter in my place. Yeah, we're going to have to drop it somewhere over here first. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of, obviously, the titanium. The egg. I completely forgot we had that. Quartz. Something we can easily find. The gold as well. I, keep, I think we'll keep the silver just because it's going to be a pain in the ass to find sometimes. But uh, this leaves us a lot of space, guys. To collect some resources. How much time do we have? That's the end of the episode. Hmm. Okay, so I think what we're going to end up doing... I don't know if it'll let me save here. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, we can save it right here. So we're just going to save it here. And so we don't feel rushed. Uh, that way we can go and pick up the, the whatever else we can carry. I'm looking for more diamonds. And also, this will give you guys an opportunity to comment on other stuff that we might want to get down here. Uh, schematics would be one thing or, uh, you know, any other things to scan. Uh, also, we don't have magnetite yet. And we do need that. As far as resources go, we have almost everything at this point. There's only a couple things that we're lacking, which in the first game weren't found except for very, very deep. And so we might be able, not be able to find those. But we do need more uh, diamonds. Definitely need more lithium. There's a lot of stuff that needs that. I think we have plenty of rubies, probably. I don't know, though. There's a lot of things that seem to need aerogel. Yeah. And I don't know how many rubies you need to make the aerogel. I remember in the first one, we used a lot of rubies for something. Yeah. I think it was for building, like, the uh, the vehicles and such. Where are the vehicles? Or no, no, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for the aerogel. Where Maybe is the aerogel? But yeah, this will allow us to get like the depth thingies here, I think. Yeah, that's one of the ones we won't have. The kyanite or whatever, nickel ore, we don't uh, have that either. Yeah. So yeah, there are going to be some things that we're lacking, guys. As I said, we won't have everything. The snow fox, we don't have the schematic for that yet. And I'm just looking, what is this? Diagnostic module for the Delta Station Communications Tower. Oh, okay, so that's what we use to uh, to complete the, this mission. Although I don't know where we get the parallel processing unit. That's interesting. Here's some of the new stuff we can make. Obviously, we don't have all the stuff for this right now either. Uh, so that's the synthetic fibers. You use Ruby for that as well. Oh, and the spiral plant clippings, which I don't know what those are. We're going to need to find that. Aerogel, in fact, needs gel sacks, and we don't have that yet either. So essentially, the only thing we can make that we couldn't make before is enameled glass and the plasteel ingots, the oh, stuff we have the lithium lame. for. So we need to see if we can't find the spiral plants and the gel sacks down here. You'd assume that they would be down here so that we can make all this crap. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff we're going to be looking for next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.